Hey, Val here. This is a plastanium compressor, and this is a plastanium factory. You can find a link for this schematic in the description. This series is supposed to help you see a more technical side of my industry. If you like it, please let me know. Even if you think it isn't much, a little goes a long way. Anyways, a plastanium compressor is a factory building in my industry and is the sole manufacturer of plastanium, a pretty important resource in the game. The building requires titanium, oil, and power to function. Let's start with the oil. To make this easier to understand, let's remove the bridge conveyors. That's better. Okay, so the oil comes in from here and splits off at this router and passes through bridges and routers in this crab-like formation so that all the compressors get oil. It's pretty straightforward looking at it. Onto the titanium. Just like with the oil, we're going to remove the clutter. Okay, there we go. This schematic works by sending all resources to this vault here in the center and using the unloaders to sort between titanium and plastanium. Unloaders are small little buggers that are capable of taking resources, or a specific one, out of some container. A container is anything that can hold resources. The core, a drill, a factory, the vault, anything. The bridges and routers get titanium flowing to every compressor. Only difference are these parts. This junction here and this unloader leading to some titanium conveyors. And that's pretty much it. Now they all have titanium, oil, and power. Let's move on to plastanium. Plastanium is sent to the vault thanks to some bridges and unloaders and is sent out also thanks to some bridges and unloaders. With the original schematic, it had a problem with these plastanium conveyors, so I had the bridge leading to a more accessible bridge, which then goes on to some plastanium conveyors. And it started working just fine. So, yeah, that's how that schematic works. Hope you learned something new, and I hope you enjoyed.